I will not be wearing low rise jeans. You will not catch me in anything 12 inch rise minimum for me. You will not see my belly button ever again. <laughs> Originally, what got me interested in acting was watching the Disney Channel as a child. I watched it until I was way too old, way out of the target demographic, but I loved it. Um, and so as a kid, I would ask my mom to take me to those open calls that you hear on the radio. When you grow up in Southern California, like, does your child want to be on Hannah Montana? And I would be like, me, please, I want to. Leading up to that, I was really lucky to be part of Legacies, which is part of the Vampire Diaries universe on the CW. And that was kind of the first time that I was able to quit all of my side hustles. And I considered that my, my break because I didn't need to be a barista and a substitute teacher and work at a cycle studio anymore. <laughs> you cannot go wrong with like a really good fitted pair of jeans and a white tee and some like gold. It's of a more of a timeless look, um, but I definitely lean more girly. I was on Lookbook all the time. And so do you remember lookbook.eu? <laughs> so I was looking at like a lot of bloggers um, who have like really good street style from around the world, not just in LA or in the States. Um, people are, putting so much work into the content that they create with their fashion, and so I find a lot of inspiration there. It feels so surreal to get to be on a network TV show, especially in a predominantly Asian cast. Like, it's historic, which feels very strange to say that it's historic because it took so long, but we're the first predominantly Asian cast on the CW ever. It's a step forward, you know, we're just representing one facet of what it's like to be Asian American. And, you know, we always say we're not making a documentary. It's a, we're, we're here to entertain you, but just give you a different perspective.